why is it important that we understand the temperature differences between materials and, and how it will affect your machining, or your accuracy in your machining, I should say. If we are in a controlled environment, i.e. 68 degrees, and we're machining in that environment, if the aluminum is going to be machined at a particular accuracy, let's say within a couple of tenths, and the same thing with the steel, when you check it at 68 degrees, it's going to be one, it's going to be one and the same. But what happens if you're in the shop and it's 90 degrees and you machine something in aluminum and something in steel? Glenn, what do you think will happen? They'll expand. Well, that's true. They will expand. And they both will grow. But what about the aluminum? Do you think it'll grow more or do you think it'll grow less? I would think it would grow more. Absolutely right. For a, for, I'll tell you what, for a cameraman, you're <laughs> turning into a mechanic, bud. I'm learning. You are learning. So the aluminum is going to grow more. And we are going to give you a demonstration and show you how that happens and why it happens. The purpose of this, again, is for you to keep this in mind that if you're machining to close accuracies uh, in a different climate, in a different temperature, where one room is hot, one room is cold, you're going to get different measurements. And it's pretty substantial. And I think you're going to see that it's going to surprise you. So we're going to take these two pieces. I'm going to show you that we've machined them both the same. We have two pieces of aluminum here. And as you can see, they're within about five tenths of one another. And we have two pieces of steel. These are 8620. And the same thing, they're within a few tenths. So now we're going to do is we're going to take one of each of these, one steel, one aluminum, take it back, throw it in the oven, heat it up to a couple hundred degrees. We're going to bring it back in here and we're going to reinspect it and show you how they grow differently. They're both going to grow, we know that. But one will grow more than the other. So let's take them back in the oven, pop them in there, and bring them back here. All right, so we've taken these out of the oven, and we found that they have really grown a lot, but we've had to change our indicator range to accommodate it because of the growth. So our new zero is over here at the five, which means it's five thousandths. That's our zero. So this is our cold part, which is room temperature, which is basically 68 degrees. We're going to call that zero. Now we're going to come over here and check the aluminum one. You can see that it has grown eight thousandths, and we raised the temperature to roughly 200 degrees. So it raised, and that's a six inch piece round numbers. So here we are, we've, we've seen it grow six thousandths. Now, if you look at this one, we'll zero this guy in, because we know he's the same. That's our new zero, and here's our hot part. And he's only grown three thousandths. So it's just about more than double, right? Is that, am I doing my math right here? Is that right, Glenn? Yeah. I need your help here. <laughs> yeah, that's Eight thousandths to three thousand. So it's interesting to see how much the aluminum grew uh, in just a couple hundred degrees, which we think it's important that you know and that you see the fact that when you're dealing with non-ferrous metals, uh, that there is a difference in the temperature, and it, and it really, really will affect you if you're out in the shop working in, say, 90 degrees. point is that what I made in the office, right in the conference room, that the point is that you can be in 90 degree temperature outside and working in it or in the shop, and both the aluminum and the metal are the same. And once they cool down to a lab dimension, or lab temperature rather, that's 68 degrees, now you're going to have a disparity there and you're going to be out of tolerance. So it's important that that's why we have uh, temperature control rooms and that's why it's important that you understand how the temperature affects aluminum, steel, brass, bronze, all these ferrous, non-ferrous materials, even cast iron. Cast iron has uh, a different growth factor than uh, the normal steel. Normal by that I mean uh, 8620 or 1020, whatever. So anyway, that's it. We just showed you the proof, living proof that those are the conditions, and that's what happens with different temperatures. So thanks for watching.